<sighs> oh man, I am tired. Did anyone else stay up all night to binge Sonic Prime, or was that just me? Anyways, what is up guys? Sonic Prime Season 2 just dropped, and I wanted to give a little spoiler review and my thoughts on it. So, before the entirety of Sonic Prime Season 2 dropped, Netflix gave us a taste of the show by dropping the first episode on YouTube. This episode heavily featured Shadow and really moved the plot forward from Season 1. Sonic now had the task of retrieving all the shards and bringing them back to Ghost Hill, we also saw that the Chaos Council was able to travel through the portals as well as they sought to gain more power. The dynamic between Shadow and Sonic was great as the two were at odds with each other but needed to work together to restore their reality. This first episode had my hopes set really high for the second season as I wanted to see this dynamic play out more, but sadly, we don't really get more of this dynamic until the last episode of the season as Shadow is mainly sidelined for a great portion of the show. Now this doesn't mean that he he doesn't have cool moments in between because there are a few fun moments with Shadow, namely when he was once again acting like Batman taking out Egg Forcers from the Shadows. But I would definitely temper your expectations if you were hoping to see a lot of Shadow this season. Something Season 1 did a really good job of was exploring the worlds and characters of the other dimensions and it really pays off starting in the second episode of this season. We jump from world to world a lot in this season from the Boss Cage to New York City, the Grim, and no place. So we're constantly being reintroduced to the variants that Sonic had met in the first season and we don't have to go through the repetitive process of Sonic explaining everything to them again. This gives the show more room to jump into the action and move the plot along, but man do they jump into the action. The show is very high energy this time around from start to finish. Each episode Sonic and his friends are having large scale battles against the Chaos Council and their forces and at some points it gets a bit stale. I'd say episode 4 felt a bit repetitive to me, but it's nothing too bad. It was just at points it would feel like Sonic got a shard and then lost it again in a battle, like over and over and over again. But every now and again they would spice things up. For instance, in episode 6 we finally get to see Metal Sonic, which really does spice things up, but man do I have a lot to say about this. So Nine accidentally gives the Chaos Council the idea to make Metal because they need something that thinks like Sonic does to beat him. So they use the three shards in their possession to create him and man is he really cool. He's fast and strong like you would imagine, he's wailing on Sonic and his friends and they're just having a hard time dealing with this Metal Sonic who goes by the name Chaos Sonic. The entire time he just taunts Sonic and the only way Sonic even loses him for a bit is by tricking him into a race where he leads him into a bus. But just like Shadow this season, Chaos Sonic is very underutilized. We actually only get one episode for him and then he's never to be seen again. This is a character that actually felt like an imposing threat throughout the episode he was in, but they decide to get rid of him right away. And look, I get it makes sense plot wise because they couldn't really devise him with the power and speed without obtaining the shards, but I feel like they could have kept him around longer to fight Sonic instead of giving us like 20 fights with Dr. Deep and Dr. Babble. That's just a minor gripe I have though because trust me, the action is still really fun in this show. In many ways, this season reminded me of Sonic X where our heroes would find the Chaos Emerald, but Eggman would be the one to get away with it. It. Kind of like how here we would see Sonic find a shard and the Chaos Council would end up with it. One thing the season did really well was going all out with the craziness. Everyone was meeting their alternate versions from different shattered spaces and it made for some really fun moments. During my watch of the season, I couldn't stop thinking about Lord of the Rings and just hear me out on why really quick. So Knuckles the Dread starts going kind of crazy trying to get the shards for himself and almost became a golem-like character where he was this third party not working with Sonic or for the Chaos Council and just going after his precious. Then there was the relationship between Rusty Rose and Black Rose which I thought was really fun. They began competing with each other tallying their kills Make that ten. just like Gimli and Legolas. <laughs> I'm on 17! So, the whole overarching narrative of the season is that Sonic needs to work with Nine in order to retrieve all the shards and restore order. However, we get subtle hints throughout the season that this isn't exactly what Nine wants. And just like Shadow had warned him in the first episode, it turns out Nine does indeed have plans of his own. After stealing the shards from the Chaos Council, Shadow, Sonic, and Nine return the shards they have to the ghostly green hill. Nine works on the shards and for a moment restores reality back to normal 
before it goes back to its dormant state. Shadow doesn't trust Nine, but Sonic and him are busy fighting off the Chaos Council who tracked them down. The Chaos Council uses reserve power to create this huge prismatic titan of Dr. Eggman, and it's just like the Stay Puffed Marshmallow from Ghostbusters. They can't beat it, and Sonic has to get a power up from Nine using the power of the shards. They win the fight, and when Sonic wants to go to the Grim to get the last shard, we see that Nine wants to build a new world with Sonic and not restore his old one. And just like that, Nine leaves Sonic and Shadow behind, and the season ends. Overall, it was a pretty interesting and fun season with some cool twists along the way. If I had to give it a rating, I'd probably say it's around like a 7.5 out of 10 for me. It opened up really strong and had a pretty solid ending that sets up season 3 with Nine potentially being a villain now. I really thought this show was the strongest when it was utilizing Shadow and even Chaos Sonic. They're both great foils for our main character, but like I mentioned, they just aren't utilized enough. The returning cast of both the Chaos Council and the other Shard characters of Sonic's friends did a really good job, namely Rusty Rose. Seeing her turn on the council was kind of fun, and Knuckles the Dread being this weird character that only wanted the shard for himself was cool. I really enjoyed the direction that they took these characters, and I'm excited to see Sonic possibly have to fight a version of his best friend. I mean, that's something that I really did not imagine I'd ever see. So, just some quick things I'd love to see in Season 3 is the return of the real Dr. Eggman, as well as more Shadow. The way that things shaped up this season, I suspect that Season 3 will be the last season, or at least wrap up this Shadowverse arc. Personally, I wouldn't mind if they kept going past the Shadowverse arc, because I would like to see more of Sonic interacting with his real friends from his world once it's all over. Let me know what you guys thought about this season in the comments, and what you think is going to go down in Season 3. I'm going to be doing more videos on Sonic Prime Season 2, so make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date, and guys, thank you so much for watching. I love talking about all things Sonic and reading what you guys have to say. So as always, I wish you all the best. Peace.